Enter the world of Chima, a vast and magical land ruled by animal tribes, battling for control of a powerful resource called Chi. I'm gonna do my best not to stumble on the title here, but it's Leg Lego Legends of Chima Online. Long title, but it's it's pretty much a, a sort of a once again, it's one of those Lego games that sort of sort of comes natural. It's like, of course, there should be an MMO, right? Free to play MMO with Legos. Well, that's it. It's uh, a great opportunity for us to... We thought it was the best way for players to explore the Chima universe is by having this massive open universe for people to come together and create uh, buildings and their own outposts to really uh, get into uh, the Chima universe. It really feels like it's a universe that perhaps has been designed with, with games in mind from the beginning. Like, is, is that sort of part of the process when they develop toys these days that, you know, this... I think that's just uh, down to the great stuff that LEGO produce. I think that whether it's uh, the products, the TV show and the game, they all kind of come together as this one big feature, this one brand that is Chima. There's no, you know, it was never designed for one thing or the other. It's just this massive, you know, uh, title that is Chima, this big world that we wanted to come together. And that's how we've built the game is we've kept in mind the play sets. So we feature some of the sets that are in the game but also we've built brand new ones where designers have actually built the place at the buildings themselves and then we've put them in the, in the game. Also we've teamed up with the TV show to create both new characters but also uh, reuse uh, the main characters that you'll see in the TV show. So if you're a fan of the play sets and the TV show, while you play the game, there'll be those nice little secrets for you to find. Although, you know, they'll be quite obvious sometimes when you're fighting some of the main characters. So uh, I think it was interesting to hear how you sort of want to marriage the, the sort of the TT Games Lego title sort of setup that we've kind of grown used to. We know what to expect from a, a TT Games game, uh, even though they're they're all different. Of course, there's there are certain fundamentals that's that's there with every title, uh, but with an MMO. So one thing that strikes me about that is the fact that you cannot treat characters the same way as you would in in it you know, Lego title from TT Games. Can you tell us a little bit how you, you still want to give players the same sort of freedom and, and, and choice there? Well, we wanted players to have their, their own experience in Chima. We've released other titles this year where you could play as the, the characters from Chima and uh, Legend uh, Laval's Journey, which is a, a, a DS, a 3DS and Vita game. So this is the opportunity for you to create your own character and have your own experience in uh, Chima. You know, it's a, an adaptive game and we'll always be adding things in the future so there's nothing to say that we won't include like the ability to change characters in the future if that's something people really want or we think it's something where we can go but for now we're really focused on letting people build their own outpost and uh, explore Chima their own way. You know, you're not stuck to one character though even though you choose at the start between your four tribes you, once you have your character, you can really make them, you know, a warrior character that runs in with melee weapons. But at any moment, you can change and be a healer guy that, you know, runs behind everyone. So in a way, although you have your only one character, it's really adaptive in the way that you can play the game however you want. And of course, you can respec at any time. You just switch out a few blocks or weapons. Yeah, well, that, well, that's it. As soon as you'll always be finding new loot as well. So when when you get a new weapon, you'll always be stopping to check if it's better than the one you have and discarding the one you have, or looking on the shop for what people are selling and if you can if you can purchase it and get a get ahead quickly. So it's it's again, it's so many different ways for you to uh, progress. Whether you want to grind and find the stuff yourself, or create the stuff and sell it to other people so they can in, uh, progress quickly. Or, you know, just go onto the store and maybe, you know, either use studs or your gold bricks and just get something right away, right now, so you can go and defeat that boss that you were maybe having trouble on earlier. So, of course, whenever it's a free-to-play game, we want to talk a little bit about the monetization and sort of the, the philosophy that has gone into that. Can you expand a little on, on what, what, the sort of, uh, what the idea is here? Well, when we had the idea of making a free-to-play game, we wanted to make sure that's what it was. You know, when, when we say free-to-play, that's what we mean. You can get from level zero to level 20 uh, without having to microtransact at all. The microtransactions and memberships are there to give you 
you know extras or benefits so it's never gonna you're never gonna be able to be held back without microtransacting it's always there to give you a bit extra to give you something now but if you want to wait around and grind then you can do that and you can get all the way to the end but if you want something right now then you can use those uh, gold bricks or become a member to get stuff quicker but the great thing is as well Gold bricks are there out in the world. You can you loot for them. After you fight big bosses, you'll be able to get gold bricks as well. So as you progress, you'll find them and you'll be able to use them. So one of the beautiful things about the, the TT Games titles is the fact that you can play them both young and old and you get the same kind of enjoyment out of them. Of course, MMOs is a, is a different kind of beast. How do you sort of go about to try to create that magic where it's <clears throat> just as much fun for someone who's perhaps seven or eight or or his, his father or mother? or Well, I think that's just uh, the, the thing that comes with LEGO. I think it, it's just universal between all ages, whether you grew up with it as a child and now you're an adult, uh, or you're just a kid and you just love, you know, Chima. That's what, you, that's what you're into at the moment and you want to play with that. So w whenever people play with bricks, I think it's intuitive for uh, people young and old to want to get in there and build something new, build some, be creative. But uh, I think it's a, a great experience for players to play with, you know, uh, parents and kids together. Can play alongside each other or they can watch each other play. I think there's always, when you put Lego in a computer game, I think there's always going to be that desire to do it. You know, usually it's uh, uh, a kid's first entry into one of our big titles that we've had in the past. So Batman or uh, Star Wars, it's like been parents taking their kids and showing it them for the first time. This way around, uh, we'll probably find that it's the kids saying, Dad, you know, look at Chima, look how cool this is and come and play with me. You know, a bit of a role reversal there, but, you know, once people get into it, you know, both big kids and little kids, I think they'll be uh, really happy with what we've done. Right, so what, what's the rollout ahead? You're, you're in beta right now. Is it, is it a closed one or what's going on? It's uh, open beta right now in uh, the US. Uh, it will be open beta in the EU later on in the year. And then once we uh, focus on that and get all our feedback, get all our updates done, we'll be ready for launch uh, just before the end of the year. So keep an eye out for the open beta. Yeah, keep, yeah, yeah. Keep an eye out on it. There's lots of news on our forums and on the site itself at, at Lego.com. You can find the forums, uh, the message boards for Chima Online. So there's lots of activity there and people keeping you up to date. So yeah, keep an eye out. Cool. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Unleash the power of Chi in LEGO Legends of Chima Online.